into our previous videos already we have discussed about the services of your azure and also we have seen how we can create applications but what if if you face any difficulties into your applications you have deployed now here is the solution and here we are going to troubleshoot each and every errors generally we get into your web applications now if i talk about the errors which we generally find into your azure websites and the applications you have developed on your azure websites that we are going to see over here so the different steps what we are going to take to troubleshoot your website errors are this first we are going to trace and diagnose text so we will check all the particular logs which we have created we'll check all the metrics which generally get generated as we enable it also we are going to see the iis logs of this particular websites which we have deployed or the applications where we have deployed it next is iis failure logs so we know we have created a number of logs how we can generate this particular logs we have seen so we'll collect all those particular logs we'll check for the errors and we'll resolve it so here we are going towards the portal and we are going to check in portal where we are going to enable this logs and get access to it and troubleshoot your website errors so let us begin with our portal here so into your application related errors generally which we get like regarding your uh, any kind of access you don't have provided to any particular user or you can see your you have already one deployment slot which is not working fine or you have already created some authentication and authorizations so you whatever generally you have done that you need to check from your application itself like for example first we should check for your scale up plans so uh, whenever your application which you are providing from your application servers and you know you have a, any particular crash or if you have any kind of you know uh, load on your application servers so it generally uh, slow downs or it you know uh, stops providing you the services so it kind of you know problems generally we face into or the errors generally we face while we are accessing for the applications so very first you should check for your scale up applications what exactly the scale up applications you have done and uh, if you want to scale your uh, servers if it's required to scale you can scale your server so that you can deploy a good applications and a good service can be provided same way you can also go for scale out plans like if suppose your uh, application is like you know getting very low traffic and this traffic you can even monitor from here and the data traffic is like you know very high and if you want to reduce this particular uh, or scale down this particular server so you can scale out over here from he from this particular menu so you can just reduce the number of servers you have already connected to your um, web application server and you can reduce it so you can see the instant count is one as of now and you can decrease or increase your instances uh, running for this particular application in the backend same way you have automation scripts so you can also use this automation script to scale up scale down your servers if you want to do anything into your backend so sometimes you also find the errors while you have already created some automation scripts and the scripts are not working fine uh, because you have some errors into this particular scripts so this is the way where you can check for the errors and you can see this is showing you the error on the top two resource type cannot be exported yet and are not included in the template see the error details so you can get and check the error details what the errors generally you have here so this way you can check for your errors into applications and next is you have the option of monitoring you also have this support and troubleshooting option so this support and troubleshooting option can also be useful for you so that you can check for the resources you have connected over here uh, if suppose the resources have any kind of problem so automatically you will uh, it will detect this particular errors it will detect you it will show you which kind of error your application is facing and which area it is facing so if you find any error it will show you available over here the errors are available so it will list the errors and right now it is showing you the application is running normally so we don't have any error as of now if you have any error you can troubleshoot it by your own you can do it or you can use the troubleshooting tools to uh, troubleshoot your errors you can see here this is the troubleshooting tool so what kind of you know problem you are facing so if your application is returning to your http error 
which kind of errors generally you are getting enable the fail request tracings so you can uh, you know check for your common pr solutions for the common problems generally you have same way you have my application is performing slow so what can be the reason and how you can do it so step by step you can move ahead you can check for the application performance you can check for your application restart and advanced options your cpu and memory uh, utilization scaling up scale out whatever we have generally discussed here same way you can also check for your SSL certificate if you have created and configured for your web application. So these are the steps which you can take by your own. If suppose you are not able to identify the problem or uh, solve your problem, generally you have the next option that is App Service Advisor. It will advise you for uh, the recommended steps which you have to take for resolving the errors of your applications. So here it is showing you nothing. Um, you don't really have any kind of error generally you have so things are looking good we can scan your application in cloud find any recommendation for you at this particular time so it will check for or scan for the errors if your application has or any particular problems your application has in running next is if even though your application advisor don't you know provide any proper guidance to you to improve your application experience or you know to uh, resolve your errors the last option we have that is your support request so we can also request to your customer care or we can say to your microsoft azure for uh, the service which you have so uh, right now we are in trial and we are using or we are moving from your web application so from windows or from linux app when web applications you have created or windows web app containers related problem you have so you need to select that or you have a problem related to the databases you know, have connected to your application so which kind of errors generally you have you need to place this and then you uh, need to select the resource type you generally have here along with that you need to specify the problem and you can also resolve your problems like you know from trying resolving yourself you can diagnose and resolve your problems here so uh, most of the times your uh, generally azure ensures that you are resolving your problems by your own by using the tools they have provided if not you can directly go for problems you have and you can uh, provide the confirm contact information of yours if you have subscribed to it right now we are using a free trial so we won't be able to send this but if you are using a uh, online subscription if you have if you are using this particular azure for your infrastructure and cloud development so you can easily sub contact your support and resolve your error by their side so this is what exactly we have seen how we can resolve our application errors by using your azure and their tools which it is provided to you so into next video we are going to see how we can resolve the slow request errors into your applications